What's going on guys? Face Pomage here or Austin whatever floats your boat. Boom. I actually kind of, it sounds good. Maybe it just I don't know. It sounds good. Anyway, guys, I had some comments down in the past videos here saying, "Yo Pam, what's your sniper class?" And I'm sitting here like, "I think it's kind of self-explanatory what a sniper class should be." Um in a Call of Duty, and especially what we do, if we just sit there and snipe all the time and we just destroy people, I kind of feel like it's kind of common sense. But for the people that don't know, I I'm gonna make a video here showing you guys what my sniper classes are because a lot of a lot of other people have like kind of different classes here and there, different preferences. These are my preferences. These are not the way to go. But this is if you're trying to be if you're trying to have my class. All right. So we're gonna hop in here. Let me just hold on. This is uh, this is crucial. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what the hell just. Oh my god, no. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm just I'm so so scared. Water just got poured on my control. Oh my gosh. Anyway. This is for people who have sweaty hands, by the way. Like this is I I would not lead people wrong. If you guys have ever seen Formal, uh he was on Optic and now he's on LG. But if you guys ever saw him do this, you know, on main stage back then, you guys are like wondering like what is this dude doing? So he was actually using gamer grip. Alright. All you gotta do, and what and what it pretty much does, I've I have sweaty hands. And it's been a while since I've had this. Um, like I, I I don't know what it is. If you're the type of player like who in si sticky situations and SND like is doing this, you don't want to do that. All right. I feel like I've been doing that every single time I'm in top ten of blackout, which has been it's not nice. You want to keep your hands on the controller like at all times. And the fact that you got sweaty hands and all that, this will fix it. So all you gotta do is boom, unget the top here. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's lubricant. Oh, it's lubricant. Oh, it's gamer. Grow up. Anyway, so all you gotta do is just boom, pour it on top. You only need, you don't need that much. That's all you literally need, man. Not even kidding. You could use more, but then your hand is like a dried prune. It's crap. It's like, don't use too much, seriously. And all you gotta do is that. Get between your fingers, and then you do this to dry it off. It smells minty, and then by the time you sh you'll feel it, like when your hands are dry, then boom. You won't be doing this in the middle of games. You should be you should be good to go. And if you sweat a lot, if you sweat through this, then just you know just add more, whatever. So I just figured I'd recommend that to you guys because that's honestly what I use, and it's been a while since I've had it. And honestly, I'm going to be using this bad boy a lot. I had them send like ten of these bad boys. Like there's there's mad there's mad of them in here. So let's get on to this video. My sniper classes, what you should be using if you feel like it gonna keep it very self-explanatory here first of all we're gonna start off with the paladin because everyone knows the paladin is like the class to go this is the this is the bee's knees this is the gun that everyone's using all right this is obviously the most dominant weapon if you're a sniper okay and I'm everyone's been using this self-explanatory most definitely but this is what I use on it because there's a lot of people out there that use it a little bit differently so paladin HD 50 HB 50 high caliber 1 and 2 is a necessity um, and I use a slight loader because I like to reload a little bit faster and I like to keep it kind of going a little bit um, And I know there's some people out there that use FMJ to get like to you know get rid of like the the body armor so I, I, I get it, but at the same time high caliber one and two does the job just as well If your aim is on point and you just you're making sure to shoot them above it Then you're not just shooting to shoot like they're lagging and get mad at them or whatever then you could use that, in my opinion. But high caliber one and two is all you really need. Um, I know there's people out there that use FMJ, so you know, there's nothing really wrong with that. Slight loader, um, and I don't use any scopes. Not really. Recon is recon's good. Dual zoom scope is good. Threat detector is pretty good. Holographic is just plain weird on this thing. Uh, thermal on this game, I wish it looked better. I don't know why they made it look all grainy. They should have just kept it like Black Ops 3. And iron sight is cheeks on this game but if you guys want me to do a video just iron side only i could totally do that if you guys uh, i just went i honestly just went through my head like using it and i just got a headache because i just know this attachment will just make me so upset it'll put my confidence down it'll make me feel insecure about my sniper shot all right it, like, uh, oh my gosh don't make me look at it anymore secondary i like to use the strife because it just feels very consistent. I haven't really used the Mozu that much. The Mozu was in the beta, I'm pretty sure, I think. Maybe it wasn't. I remember using it a little bit here and there, and it really wasn't that good. There was a little attachment that is on there, and it's like a sniper scope, and people are getting disgusting headshot feeds with it. It's pretty broken, I'm not going to lie. I could totally do that for a video as well. Uh, the RK7 Garrison, I was hoping it would have been better for the RK5, but unfortunately it just isn't. So... Recently, I've just been using the Strife. No attachments on it because, unfortunately, you need all these attachments to just put on your sniper. Now, for gear, 
Equipment charge, I haven't really used that whatsoever. I'm sure that's good for competitive and all that. I use stim shot because for streaks and when you get bodied a little bit, when you get shot, I like to use that like almost instantly. It's kind of messing me up though, kind of messing me up in the flow because in times where I should like, if I, if I get a two piece and then I take a little bit of damage, it's already in my head that I'm using the stim shot to get my health back up and feel more confident. When in reality, if I, got two pe if I got two kills in the feed, I should probably just push see if I can get two more to finish the clip it's a different mentality thing so and this allows you to heal faster and obviously you can heal regardless without this it just lets you get it faster all right so it's very useful in streaks cosmic device haven't really used that body armor man your mom did not carry you in her belly for nine months only for you to grow up and hop on black ops 4 and use body armor okay I if you do you're a hoe I don't want to hear it acoustic sensor though I have, I've seen Testy, <laughs> I've seen Testy use this here and there, and uh, obviously you guys know Testy. He's nasty. He's disgusting. He's filthy. Dude doesn't get off. Acoustic sensor is the is uh, another way to go. It's a it's a different type of play style for sure. Um, I haven't really given it too much of a chance or much of a shot because I'm I just like stim shot a lot personally. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Use some acoustic sensor in some different classes and maybe in the future. But for now, I'm just using what I like here in that stim shot. Uh, perks scavenger in this game. In every single weapon, I swear to Jeebus, all your weapons just like you just you feel like you just run out of ammo like really really fast, and you only have a certain amount of ammo in the game and well in the gun anyway. So scavenger, if you want nuclear streaks, this is definitely probably the way to go. I'm sure it's possible to get nuclear streaks without it, but if you want something kind of like guaranteed ammo and to keep it up to get the dope Rainbow Road, I still have yet to have that. I want that to happen. That be it looks it looks insane. All right. Scavenger's definitely the way to go. Engineer, haven't really used that too much. I can't imagine it being too useful. Flak Jacket. Um, in this game, especially these two perks, these perks used to be super, super good and super, super useful in Black Ops 2, but obviously it's two cards later. These, um, in this game, if you get nine bangs, you're pretty much dead. So there's no helping that. Attack Mask really isn't going to do too much about it. Um, in my opinion anyway uh and flag jacket obviously take less damage from explosives but if somebody has a grenade launcher or something like that you're pretty much pooched anyway and a lot of people they have grenades cluster grenades are really good in this game but you can kind of run away with them if you you know have the evasiveness and the movement um flag jacket it's all preference though I, i've been using scavenger just because you know i'm you know i hit a lot of shots and then and, you know, i'm running out of ammo and then picking up a red gun and i just feel bad all right but i don't really feel bad because i love shredding with the red guns all right um second perk lightweight i use lightweight a lot i haven't really dug too much into gung-ho or dexterity can't imagine it being too useful i have a personal preference on lightweight because a lot of times like with a, an aggressive play style and you want the movement you want to like get a, a jump shot like from middle firing range and jump off the middle and then turn around and get a fourth you're gonna take fall damage, all right? And if you take fall damage, you're already in your head when you're using the stim shot, and then as soon as you just use the stim shot, that's like time gone, you know what I mean? So I feel like this game, people have weak shins, like your character has just weak shins, and you just jump and you just take dumb fall damage regardless. So lightweight, it's kind of the way to go, in my opinion. Um, and it's like, if you wanna go run and gun, if you wanna run around faster, and you have unlimited sprint anyway. So lightweight, it's lightweight and marathon already in your head, it's a pretty good combination, so. In the future, I might dig into these two other perks, see how they are, see what they do, um, see if they, you know, add any, if, if it makes any difference um, into a play style. We'll see. And then the last perk, honestly, there really isn't too much um, in here besides Ghost and Dead Silence. Obviously, Dead Silence is there for S and D, uh, or you could just use it for, you know, anything else. Uh, resist detection from acoustic sensor. I guess that's pretty good. Uh, but honestly, Ghost is probably the best way, undetectable by enemy UAVs while moving and such. And it's good that they did that with this because people can't just sit in the corner and the UAV will just sweep, like not sweep over them. Thank goodness, man. Like it makes people want to get up and go and play the game how it's supposed to play. About time. Wild cards, obviously for these sniper classes, you're going to need primary gunfighter and that's kind of unfortunate um, just because it just takes up another thing, just takes up another slot when you only have 10 slots anyway. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much that. I like slight reloader, not FMJ, yada yada yada. It's just kind of my personal preference here. So now for the Koshka, all right, here we are. Koshka, what I like to use a lot of the times is quick draw. You do not need quick draw too. If you use quick draw too, I mean, go ahead try it out. But you will, as soon as you zoom in, you're gonna realize, like, wow, I don't even need to use this. It kind of just seems like a useless thing. Not a lot of people are even using it in general. It's kind of ridiculous, honestly. 
Um, high caliber, there's only one high caliber on this gun. I think every single sniper should have high caliber one and two, or they should just up the damage so like high caliber just is high caliber. You know, and I, I like how high caliber is no longer like a headshot multiplier like it was in BO3 and such. It's kind of a pain in the butt. But any other thing else, fast mags. You could always go with laser sight, but I personally like the fast reload. It's always just my, been my personal preference. You could go FMJ to get uh, to get rid of, you know, penetration, penetration destroys armor or do some wall bangs. Personally, I only like shooting at like what I see. Sometimes, you know, you'll shoot through a wall, especially um, if you have the recon. Makes you give gives you like a nice little aimbot, see through everything, see where they are. It's crazy. That's like the best one in my opinion. Um, strife. I use the strife obviously on that one. Stim shot. Nothing really changes here. Scavenger. Lightweight. Ghost. Primary gunfighter. Everything stays the same on that. And then on the outlaw, the gun. We'll call this. Uh, well, the Koshka is like the ballista more more likely, but the outlaw gets a lot of comparisons to it as well. Um, so for perks on this, I use, I mean, not perks, attachments, I use rapid fire because I like to follow up shots very fast. And you guys saw my montage that went up a phase in my channel. Um, I, uh, you can follow up on shots very fast, all right? Um, high caliber, obviously, I wish it had high caliber too. Again, I have a good, I have good faith that they might, that they will buff these snipers because like seven months after these, um, Black Ops 3 came out, they buffed the Locust and they buffed the RSA um, when they were just absolutely awful. And they literally said, yo, we meant to buff the Locust a long time ago. How are they going to wait that long? So I hope they don't wait that long um, with this gun. So quick draw, obviously. Um, you could try it without quick draw, but honestly, there's not really not much point. Grip, I could see grip being, you know, decent in search. But, you know, with recoil, a lot of people, if you stay zoomed in your scope when you're sniping, it doesn't look good for clips or anything like that. Um, so quick draw is kind of definitely the way and if you stay in your scope then you don't get the peripheral you don't get like the, you know you don't get to see everyone on the outside you know what I mean so rapid fire high cal quick draw yada 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 strife stim shot again scavenger lightweight ghost primary gunfighter now I don't really use the other gun thank gosh the other guns good now I hope you guys know if you are having trouble with the outlaw do not feel bad man this gun is really underpowered as it is it's pretty it's kind of sad, man. It looks great. The reload is crazy. It looks dope. Um, a lot of crazy stuff can happen with this gun. It's it, 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 They really did a good job on it. Besides the damage. I have good faith that they might buff it. I really, really hope they do. But, if you guys saw in the montage that I uploaded with the Outlaw, I got like a, a the quad feed with Outlaw. I know it's not that crazy, but the damage. The reason why that was so easy. Well, not so easy. The reason why I didn't get any hit markers or anything like that, and I had the confidence to just shoot people like that, um, and not overthink getting them above the body or anything. I had the assault package um, on. It's the I don't know what it's called, what specialist it is. It, it gives you the boosted, um, and then it gives and you can drop you know weapon supplies. And I'm pretty sure that ups the damage. I like to think it does. It sounds like it does. I'm positive it does. If it doesn't, it's placebo and I'm crazy. But I used that and then I got a little bit of extra points and it felt like the damage was kind of on my side. And maybe I just got lucky that maybe none of them had body armor or something like that. Maybe they were weak. I don't know. But I could see if maybe if you have a duo, maybe you both just run that. You both just run outlaws and you just keep dropping these, uh, these packages and then you just always pick them up before you go in. You know what I mean? I'm sure that could be another way to do it. But ultimately, I would like to not rely on that. I would like to just have the gun just be one shot when it comes down to it. If body armor is a thing, screw it. I'll use FMJ if I have to, but I obviously don't want to. So that's pretty much it here, guys. That's uh, that's all I really use. Score streaks, I use UAV. I'll use counter AV. Uh, obviously, I don't have it on right now, but, you know, I'll, I'll fix that. Uh, UAV, counter UAV, and attack helicopter. I've been using sniper nests a lot because they're it's very fun. It's 100 less score than the attack helicopter, and the attack helicopter is nasty in this game. Mantis, haven't really used it that much, but I know the strike team, what I heard is the strike team does count towards your gun kill streak. So say if you're going for a nuclear and you keep going on, it'll add to your gun streak and it'll it'll help. So I haven't used it really at all. Honestly, the only things I've used is UAV, Hellstorm, counter UAV, and some lightning strikes and attack helicopter and snipers. That's all I've really, really been using. So I'm gonna put me and Sprat here in the in the kill streaks. And that's pretty much it. Specialists, there's a lot of good specialists. Obviously people are using the grappler, the you know, Ruin. Ruin's a very good one because you can do a lot of cool stuff with the grappler. I have a couple of ideas that I want to have happen, hopefully in the future for it. That would be sick. Um, recon, ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous specialist. It's, it's, it's crazy. 
You got you can just see through walls, you can predict where they're gonna be, you can use that vision pulse. It's really, really good in free for all. Um, and then Seraph is obviously pretty good if you want to use the, the pistol, and then you have the tack insert, but you know, the tack insert if you don't place it in a good spot then it's you're not really helping yourself you know you're not helping yourself or the team then you're just gonna get spawn trapped until you know somebody kills it or you know you somehow bust out of it and you know it's either good or bad honestly those are the only real ones I use I don't really use anything else um, eventually I'm going to have to use all of them because I want to do 100% multiplayer completion and a lot of the red guns too as well I want to use those for obviously wrote a dark matter and a lot of those videos they're gonna be streamed all right so twitch.tv slash pomage that I'm gonna get my schedule together and all that I'm kind of just figuring out the balance between recording videos and uh, streaming and then you know finding the balance between that so patience with me right now I'm kind of just streaming whenever I feel like it so just follow me on Twitter and then uh, you'll you'll see whenever I'm streaming so I think that pretty much does it man if this this is uh this is how to be me if this is how to be this is how to be Pamaj in the game. If you like, like legitimately class, perks, everything. All right. So if this is your cup of tea, go ahead, drop a thumbs up. If it ain't and you already have your class, good for you. You never needed me anyway. I'm going to just leave the video off on that. Guys, um, tomorrow, like, as I said at the beginning of this video, if you guys want me to do an Iron Sight video and make me rip my hair out, I will most definitely do that. Um, and regardless, I'm going to start playing because uh, I had to get my time played up because I've been kind of pacing myself. Cause my hands have been aching like really, really bad. Like I'm talking really bad. Like I've been having to give myself hand massages like in between matches and you know, giving myself breaks, you know? And uh, there's been a few times where I've had to dump my hands in ice buckets and just let them sit there because they, it's just needed. It's kind of, it's kind of goatee, honestly. It sounds dope, but like it ain't fun. You know, I don't, I used to never have to do that. So make sure you take care of yourselves guys. Give your like, you know, ergonomics are real. Give yourselves a break. Give yourself, like, take care of your hands, man. Absolutely. So, I'm going to let the video go off here. Um, and now I'm going to go and use this Iron Sight. Or oh, I'm just going to play, honestly. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, leave a thumbs up. If you guys really did. You know what? There's no favorites anymore. But I'm going to keep saying that because it's, it's, it's etched in my brain. If you guys really enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you guys really did leave a favorite, commenting is free as well as subscribing. I'm Austin. <laughs> Whoa. Dude, I gotta get this outro down, man. I'm Austin or Face Pomage here, whatever flows through your boat, and I'll see absolute gorgeous faces in the next video. Thanks for watching.